former first lady Mamalusi Kibaki has finally been laid to rest. At 4:30 p.m., her casket was lowered into the grave dugout at their Kanyange home, and it was the final farewell for Mamalusi, surrounded only by family and invited guests. It is a journey that started on Tuesday, the 26th, and culminated today in Nyeri, where a funeral mass was held at the Odaya approved school. In honor of Mama Lucy, who was described as a lady full of life and mirth, yellow ribbons were handed to all those in attendance. This was evidenced when Jimmy Kibaki took to the podium sharing experiences about his late mother. There's one particular Irish priest who's very enthusiastic, and I think His Excellency the President knows the priest I'm talking about because I'm told he was quite familiar with also with his cane. Experiences that lightened up the somber mood. Her send-off was not without the fair share of accolades. Mama Lucy remembered for the strides she took to reinforce the office of the First Lady by taking on projects like combating the spread of HIV, AIDS, and health in general. She also took on education matters, ensuring that those who are not able to access education due to one aspect or the other had access. You have assisted so many people, given so many a chance to have a life that may not have been possible, yet never once have you asked for recognition or acknowledgement. Madam Musi journeyed with me throughout, making sure everything was all right. And I surely disappoint. And now that I'm at the university, courtesy of her, I'll keep this legacy going. That we at the Senate, we in Parliament, the National Assembly, and all of those that are in leadership, particularly in Parliament, are going to do everything possible to see that the dream that she had for a new constitution, which we now have, that devolution that is contained there that she cared for so much, is going to work for the benefit of Kenyans and particularly the ordinary Kenyans that she cared for so much. It may farm kama ni manamke jasiri, manamke shpavu, ni manamke ambao ni muhimu ili muhimu kwa katika maisha yako mze mwaikibaki. Maisha yako ya kisiasa na ya uongozi kama tulivyosikia kabla ya kuwa raisi wakati ukiwa raisi na baada na hata baada ya kustafu uongozi wa juu wa taifa lenu la Kenya she was firm and honest many brokers and hypocrites and pretenders and lazy people had a difficult time around the Kibaki presidency because of Lucy. Ni ya kwamba kila mkenya akona haki na uhuru wa kusema fikira zake bila kuogopa atafanywa nini hata kama bwanake alikuwa rais there were times she contradicted even the president. And I think Hiyo ni jambo ingine ambalo sisi zote tuataka tuihimize na tujue ya kwamba hiyo ndiyo foundation ya demokrasia yetu. Her mother bear instincts that saw her fiercely guard her family was praised. His Excellency the President mentioned that my mother was a fearless defender of our family and indeed she was she was she always stood by her husband. She defended her children. And she drew an absolute double red line when it came to her grandchildren. Msingi wa inchi ni familia. Tuwe watu ambao watachunga na watasimamia familia zetu. At the final send-off for former First Lady Mama Lucy Kibaki, she has been given glowing tribute for her commitment and championing of health, especially HIV AIDS, education and also her fierce defense of her family. These are attributes and characteristics that even the President has asked Kenyans to emulate. Berilombani NTV from the county of Nyeri.